I guess blow through it if we can. Don't get bogged down. Roger. Shout at me in squad comps when it. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Keep going. Keep going. This is freaking wild, bro. Squad is one of the only S tier platoon wide tactical shooters available on PC or on any platform for that matter. And you guys might remember the occupation mod created by my buddy Karmacut and his friends some months ago. Well, Squad got a fresh coat of paint in the form of a new update, and my buddy Karmacut and all his developer friends have now published the latest version of the Occupation game mode, which brings that mod up to snuff with the latest updates. I'll tell you a little bit more about the Occupation game mode in a second, but first, if you don't yet own Squad and you'd like to get your hands on a copy, it is available over on my game store. I think you guys will see from this gameplay that it's well worth the investment, and I encourage you guys to go purchase it from the game store. If you do buy it over there, it will support the channel directly. I'm super grateful for each of you who choose to purchase the game in that way. Now I've got to lean on a friend for a quick explanation of exactly how the occupation game mode works. So the AO is the purple circle. It's essentially king of the hill and you gain tickets by having fobs in the purple circle and you bleed their tickets obviously by killing them and destroying their assets. Uh, first team to, to clear out the Tickets wins. It's basically king of the hill, except there's just the rules on what leads the tickets. So that's your explanation, but why does that matter? Well, the fact of the matter is a lot of the original squad game modes are extremely linear. They turn into this massive meat grinder, and you can begin to memorize the layers and exactly how that game mode is going to go from this get-go. The occupation mod becomes dynamic. You don't know exactly where the fight is going to take place. The objectives can move around over the course of the battle, and you never really can predict how that match is going to play out. This leads to some extremely dynamic encounters, a really authentic and new experience each time you play and it really provides that opportunity for teamwork that's difficult to find in other game modes even within squad take a look at what it feels like to be the turret gunner in a convoy moving through fallujah in the occupation game mode left left at the roadblocks here left here left here left here Roadblock. oh my god bro slow down and uh. you can get jammed up Make sure you take it nice and slow. Right, right, going dead north, going dead north. We're not at a disadvantage at all, being um, 400 meters behind the rest of the convoy. That's too, that you're supposed to be spread out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's also contact up here. I guess blow through it if we can. Don't get bogged down. Roger. Shout at me in squad comps when it. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Keep going. Keep going. This is freaking wild, bro. Reloading. Holy Christ. RPGs, bro. Guns up, guns up. This is not an ideal location to do vehicle recovery. Chuck, do what you can to get that vehicle to Palace. I got one enemy south 185. I believe he's been engaged and destroyed, but he may still be up. The good news is we got one of the lodges here. Hey, there's an IED uh, 175 in the road, bro. 175, we got IEDs. It's um, to our south 100 meters. South coming to you. Alright, yeah, get, get over to us as soon as you can. Roger.
with percentage. Brother, we're about to be in a bad way. One enemy south, 50 meters, fucking RPG. Are you dead? Are you dead? Oh shit. Yeah, I uh, am all alone in Fallujah right now. It's less than ideal. There is enemy infantry within 50 meters of me. One of the more subtle updates in the occupation game mode is the suppression feature. Squad does have innately suppression in the game. You get that kind of snap, crackle, and pop of rounds going over your head. The screen kind of darkens in the corners. But in the occupation game mode, it is an extremely pronounced effect. And this means that suppressive fire becomes extremely critical to winning the day. And you'll feel that as you're suppressed and certainly as you're trying to win the fire superiority battle and break contact out of an engagement or maneuver on a fixed enemy that's extremely clearly displayed in this little fight that we had in the forest where an Aussie peel got us out of a type spot Just try to get behind cover and hang on get you up there's zero cover we're in the smoke yeah. it deflate on the other side of the maybe smoke it's probably our only chance Red smoke, top of the hill. You guys, we need to win the suppression fight. There we go. Move. Move it, move it, move it. Moving. Last man. Jesus Christ! Gun East BMP. Now I'm going to finish off with this extremely cinematic push. There's a couple fights here. The first one required us to assault an urban area, take a building, establish a foothold, conduct a ton of suppressive fire and smoke, and then assault two more buildings before finally disabling a hab. The BMP rolling up behind us on the southwest. Yeah, we're already engaging. We're probably going to have to commit if this guy comes further. Recommend marksman moves to pairs if we've got a marksman right now. Marksman get the pairs. I'm moving. Good line, Slayer. Yep, super juicy spot right here. See it?
in between the sandbags in the building. Alright, I'm moving, you got it. I killed him, I killed him. Another one, first level. Ah, oh, shit! Thanks, man, I'm good. it up, guys, it up. Get inside the wire. Pushing. Watch front right, watch front right. Entering. I heard him. Ah! Where's he at? I popped one. Jesus Christ, bro. One insane building is Paris, Carmen, don't give up. Oh my god, oh my god. Banishing. Scoot to the wall, to the wall, to the wall. Alright, gonna push up. Alright, I'm gonna try to get upstairs, man. There's not enough room here. Now I think we might have enemy above. Do we say friendly? Pushing. Hey, you guys in the open way. Give up if you get There's one. Karma, we own the building you and I died in moments ago. It's ours. Be a Huckleberry. Smoke should be blooming right now. Smoke looks good. Alright, smoke's good, so if you can get across, get across. Right, hold on. Hold on. Here we go, boys! Got security on your high boys. ECCs, no eyes. Fucking BMP close. Holy shit. Guys, he's southeast just on the other side of the building. You've got cover between you and him. Dig. Peekaboo. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I was doing the same thing Sorry, one level above you. And finally, a subterranean tunnel assault. This one got wild. It did end in our favor, but not without a heavy cost.
not stand up. There's Hesco's beyond this. Get low, stay low. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Is it where the fuck did you come from? Fragging, 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 fragging. Frag, frag, frag. We're on hap. Alright, the, uh, the main hab level is clear. They're in the rail yard beneath that, in the main tunnel. They're pouring through their red train car. Good frag. Hold that angle. There's more. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel for more content exactly like this. And if you haven't yet bought Squad, consider doing so from the game store over at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. And while we're at it, want to throw a huge shout out to my buddies, Jeremy, Stephanie, and Joel. Appreciate each of you guys joining the channel as a member or upgrading your membership to the next tier. Glad to have you guys on the team. If you guys want to become channel members, all you got to do is click that blue join button down below. Check out the perks that come along with channel membership. And I'm super grateful for each of you guys who do become a channel member. I'll see you guys in the next one.